everybody, it's Barb and Jack Moose. Thanks for joining us for Jack Moose Sessions number 12. Can you believe it? An even dozen already. Well, we're here to bring you, as always, some old tunes and maybe one that isn't quite so familiar. But we know we're going to have a lot of fun and we hope you will too. We're going to start off with an old song from around 1780 was the first time they actually had this written down. They attribute it to a fellow named William Swords who was performing in the Haymarket Theater in London. But there are a lot of different variations. And we're going to do this because, Jack, it's about a dog. It's about a dog. Yeah. A dog named Bingo. And it's a clapping song. So you have to pay attention. We hope I can pay attention. Are you ready? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog. Bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog. Bingo was his name. Oh. N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer had a dog, Bingo was his name, oh. G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer had a dog, Bingo was his name, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, and Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer had a dog, Bingo was his name, oh. Bingo was his name, oh. There was a farmer had a dog, Bingo was his name, oh. B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O, and Bingo was his name-o. That was kind of hard. I almost missed on a couple of those. I hope you got them all right. An old song from the 1700s, Bingo. I kind of like that one. I remember singing that when I was a kid. All right, this next one is one that you may not have heard. I wrote it in... 2008 and I revised it this year and it's still pretty current I think and I wrote it because I had just read a book by Carl Hyacin and if you know him he writes rather satirical mystery books that are just I love them they're full of fun for me and one of them was about some people who saw an oil patch on a road and thought it looked like the Virgin Mary, and so they got people to worship it. And so I started looking for stories like that in the newspaper and online, and I wrote a song called The Daily News. Like I say, I revised it this year. Now I'm not one for writing songs of love and tender kisses. In fact, some folks would say my greatest hits are nearer misses. But now I've hit my stride, I'm really in a groove. I'm gonna get my inspiration from the daily news. Grilled cheese Jesus and Sasquatch in a freezer. The headlines that you read today are written just to please you. You never know for certain if the story's true or not. But the water cooler gossipers will tell you what is hot. When I was growing up, the news was really pretty basic. Walter, Terry, Chet, and David brought it to us daily. Now the evening news is just a circus show. If you just want the cold hard facts, where are you to go? Grilled cheese Jesus and Bigfoot in a deep freeze. Donald Trump is saying he has given up on tweeting. A guy in San Diego saw the ghost of Phyllis Diller and creepy Anthony Weiner who took pictures of his willy. Blech. The daily news is fascinating and there's a good reason. 
Headlines lead you far astray, only as a teaser. Something slick to grab your eye, really smoking mirrors. God forbid we'd have to read of something really serious. Grilled cheese Jesus and Sasquatch in a freezer. There's written proof that aliens built the pyramids of Giza. A fella down in Arkansas raised Elvis from the dead. And then they told us Julia Child was working for the feds. I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can really do to stop it. The minute someone grabs the headlines, others try to top it. The line is blurred between what's real and what is in our heads. It doesn't matter what they say as long as it gets read. Real cheese Jesus and Bigfoot in a freezer. The headlines that you read today are written just to please you. You never know for certain if the story's true or not. But the water cooler gossipers will tell you what is hot. It may not be what we deserve, but this is what we've got. You figure out which of those lines were true and which ones weren't. Some were and some weren't. We're going to go to Merry Old England. This is for uh, our friends Sue and Andrew, who live over in Merry Old England. We met them in 2010 when Don and I went over there and stayed in a little village called Yulgrieve up in Derbyshire. And uh, we ran into Sue and Andrew the very first night we were there at a pub. I know, imagine that. And they have remained friends of ours all this time. And we just we love hearing from them and we're friends on Facebook and we keep in touch that way which is really nice so I thought it would be nice to do an English song this is called Hedger and Ditcher and a Hedger and Ditcher was just what you think it was a guy who took care of the hedges and took care of the ditches he trimmed them so just as they called blacksmiths smiths this is a Hedger and Ditcher this is one of those tunes about I call them my spinster songs because there's always a tune in every language about a gal who never thinks she's going to get married. Oh, my father's a hedger and ditcher, my mother does nothing but spin. They say that I'm pretty enough, but the suitors come slowly in. Oh, dear, what shall become of me? Oh, dear, what shall I do? There's nobody coming to marry me. Nobody coming to woo. The doggy began to bark, and I looked out to see. I saw two young men out a hunting, but nobody's hunting for me. Oh dear, what shall become of me? Oh dear, what shall I do? There's nobody coming to marry me. Nobody coming to woo. Oh, must I die an old maid? Oh dear, how shocking the thought. There's nobody coming to marry me. Surely it's not my own fault. Oh dear, what shall become of me? Oh dear, what shall I do? There's nobody coming to marry me. Nobody coming to woo. My father's a hedger and ditcher. My mother does nothing but spin. They say that I'm pretty enough, but the suitors come slowly in. Oh dear, what shall become of me? Oh dear, what shall I do? There's nobody coming to marry me, nobody coming to woo. There's nobody coming to marry me, nobody coming to woo. A spinster song from Merry Old England. This next tune is, has its roots in Germany. Excuse me a moment. My allergies are acting up. There we go. This has its roots in Germany. There was a song like it uh, first recorded in 1700. And I've heard it and sung it when I was a kid. We're going to do a little bit of it on the banjo here. Originally in the 
song in Germany, there was no man's name to it. It was just a woman's name, and it was Lisa. And when it got over here, it was changed because uh, somebody added the word Heinrich. So you had Lisa and Heinrich. It's called There's a Hole in My Bucket. And I think it just shows that these two people belong together as a couple because they're probably the only people I know who could put up with each other. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, a hole. So fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. So fix it, dear Henry, so Henry, fix it. With what should I fix it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what should I fix it, dear Liza, with what? With the straw, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. With the straw, dear Henry, dear Henry, with the straw. But the straw is too long, dear Liza, dear Liza. The straw is too long, dear Liza, too long. So cut it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. So cut it, dear Henry, dear Henry, cut it. With what should I cut it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what should I cut it, dear Liza? With what? With an axe, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. With an axe, dear Henry, dear Henry, with an axe. But the axe is too dull, dear Liza, dear Liza. The axe is too dull, dear Liza, too dull. So sharpen it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. So sharpen it, dear Henry, dear Henry, sharpen it. With what should I sharpen it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what should I sharpen it, dear Liza? With what? Use a stone, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Use a stone, dear Henry, dear Henry, use a stone. But the stone is too dry, dear Liza, dear Liza. The stone is too dry, dear Liza, too dry. So wet it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. So wet it, dear Henry, dear Henry, wet it. With what should I wet it, dear Hen Liza, dear Liza? With what should I wet it, dear Liza, with what? With water, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. With water, dear Henry, dear Henry, with water. With what should I carry it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what should I carry it, dear Liza, with what? Use a bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Use a bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry, use a bucket. Ready? But there's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, a hole. A hole in the bucket. And it took a whole long time to write that, I'm sure. It's still kind of a silly song. And you have to admit, they do belong together. Hey, Jack, what's up? Did you like that song? Hi. <laughs> Jack is wearing his special collar today, and I'll explain a little more about that later, but he's wearing it for a reason. We'll get to that. This is a tune that has been around a long time. Some people think it may have originated in Scotland, an old tune, but the words were different over there. So it uh, first really started going around in the mid-1800s in America, and it's called Poor Wayfaring Stranger. I am a poor wayfaring stranger, a traveling through this world of woe. Yet there's no sickness, no toil or danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I know dark clouds will get
gather round me. I know my way is rough and steep, yet beauteous fields lie just beyond me, where God's redeemed their vigils keep. I'm going there to see my mother. She said she'd be when I come, I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I am a poor, wayfaring stranger, a traveling through. This world of woe, yet there's no sickness, no toil or danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there, no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. I'm only going over home. Poor wayfaring stranger. You're not a stranger, Jack. Everybody knows who you are. We're down to our final song, and now the reason for your collar. Yeah, we're going to, a reason for your collar, and here, we'll give you that. How's that for a deal? Jack's wearing his shamrock collar, made by Maisie Co. up in Omaha, and uh, we decided since coronavirus kind of took away our St. Patrick's Day gigs, as well as all of our other gigs since then, we're going to do a little... Irish medley here to end session number 12. And the odd thing about these songs is they are related, even though I put them together because they sound very similar. In doing research for it, I found that When Irish Eyes Are Smiling was written by Chauncey Alcott and George Graff Jr. And it was set to the music of Ernest Ball for Alcott's production of a musical called The Isle of Dreams in 1912. Now, in 1913, the same Chauncey Alcott sang a song called Tura Lura Lura. It was written by James Royce Shannon, and it was number one on the charts in 1913. So it was revived in 1944 by Bing Crosby for the movie Going My Way, and it's always been one of my favorite lullabies. If you remember that movie, you remember Bing Crosby. He's up in the old priest bedroom, Barry Fitzgerald, and Barry's been out in the rain and he's cold and they put him to bed and Bing Crosby gets out the bottle of Irish whiskey and takes it over and pours them each a little drink. And then he sings his song to put Barry Fitzgerald to sleep. So uh, they are related and they sound like they're related. We're gonna do Tour Allura first and then When Irish Eyes Are Smiling and then we'll end with Tour Laura. We'll see if we can put Jack to sleep. Jack, can we put you to sleep? Not literally, of course, but. Tour Laura, Laura, Tour Laura, lie. Tour Laura, Laura, hush now, don't you cry. Tour Laura, Laura. Tura Lura Lie, Tura Lura Lura, it's an Irish lullaby. When Irish eyes are smiling, sure it's like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, all the world is bright and gay, 
And when Irish eyes are smiling, sure they'll steal your heart away. Tura Lura Lura, Tura Lura Lai, Tura Lura Lura, Hush, now don't you cry. It's an Irish lullaby. Thank you all for joining us for Jack Moose Sessions number 12. And I told you earlier I've always loved 12. And so I'm going to tell you that I'm going to take a little hiatus now. We won't have a Jack Moose Session number 13 for uh, several weeks because I have a couple of other things that I'm working on. And I really need to work on those kind of full time for right now. So I hope you'll forgive us for taking a little break, but I also hope you'll go back and replay the videos that we've made the past 12 weeks and enjoy the songs and please sing along, share them with your friends and neighbors. And if you're activity directors, I know you're sharing them with your residents because I can't come and see you for a while and neither can Jack. So we will miss doing these, but I promise you we will be back and uh, I'll give you a heads up when we are, but until then, go to my website, www.biffle.info, B-I-F-F is -F in Frank, L-E dot info, and all the videos will be there for you. Watch them, play them, share them, as I said, and enjoy, stay safe, and I'll see you when we get back to these in a little bit. Bye. Jack, say bye. Did I put him to sleep with that last song? I might have. <laughs>